What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? Today's goal, if you haven't already, go to my comment section, leave a comment yourself letting me know that you are a lunatic for Luna Classic. But importantly, make sure that you go back to all of the people who said stuff like, it's never gonna pump, it's dead. Don't do anything because it's not gonna pump. Again, that's the way they sound in my head, like they've got that extra chromosome. But the, but the important part is, go remind them what a dumb dumb they are because those dumb dumbs said, we never going to pump. And guess what? It's pumping. And where did it go? It went to the first area, which I told you was going to be an important one, which was the 236 line on a fib retracement. And guess what? Here we are. Now the next question is, well, what's going to happen next, right? Well, the answer to that is, I'm going to tell you in just a few minutes. I'm not going to tell you right now. So if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you let those people, the dum-dums, know that they're a bunch of dum-dums because, you know, dum-dums. All right, let's go. So for your news today, Terra Classic uh, poised for a 267% rally amid bullish. I'll let you know when we get to the charts whether or not I agree with this, but what they're giving you right now, Javon Marks has rekindled interest in Terra Luna Classic. Remember, the other day, not only was Javon Marks now interested, but Miles Dutcher also uh, got real interested right now. And what he sees is a trajectory where we go to three zeros, five, nine, three. Uh, he said that this is just the start um, and that he thinks that there's going to be a big move. And that big move, by the way, is going to go back to that all-time high uh, for Lunk, not for Luna, of course. But uh, let's look at that in just a few minutes. Now, besides that, he previously highlighted bullish potential of Lunk by referencing Fibonacci extension targets and community optimism. The total, the total, uh, the token's dynamic ecosystem supported the expectation that it would generate a startling 980% gain in a new bull run. Uh, which, uh, that's about a 9 or a 10x. That's not even close to uh, what anybody has said that it would do. So, no, uh, that's not correct. But uh, fair enough for the moment. Uh, we, we can say that, you know, early on, perhaps that would be something that's going to happen. But let's move on. Uh, so, uh, yesterday, I had a conversation with you guys. And what I told you, by the way, was, you know, go look at these validators and decide for yourself if this validator is the validator for you if they have done uh, what it is that you want them to do. So, um, because it is for me, like, I don't feel like some of these guys are doing me justice. And I, you know, look, I put out crypto to everybody. So, you know, there's a lot of different people that are, there's a lot of different uh, validators that I just, you know, kind of just, you know, I'm, I'm going to support these guys. I'm going to stake with them. And Here's what I've done. I'm going to show you in just a moment here. But again, let's go back here and lost in the cosmos analysis of social data. We knew that one was happening. Upgrade to 3.3.0. Now, there's no discussion needed here. So two comments. I kind of get that one. Um, and, and also, but if you come down here, no comments on lost in the cosmos, the analysis of social data. Um, and again, again, this is where they agreed to have open discussions about what's going on, the Commonwealth. So uh, just really no discussions. Again, the only people that you see here that I've, I've showed you with some consistency, like Rex, White, Rex YZ and, and Vegas and, and you know, a few others. So that leads me to what am I doing? Well, uh, here's my stake right now. I have zero stake. The reason I have zero stake is they're all waiting for an unlock. My unlock is on December 17th. Once that unlock, and once it's all back in my wallet, then I am going to decide again what I'm going to do with it. Am I going to stake with Lunk Live? Uh, maybe. All nodes? Maybe. Um, Rex YZ, Terra Casino, uh, Terra Port? Maybe. You know, I, I think that there, there are a few that I like that I'm going to show you as we do it. But for the moment, I'm unstaking from everybody. I'm looking at how people are voting I'm going to go with my conscience of who I'm delegating with. That's going to be my new thing. So I hope you guys, um, I, I don't encourage you to do the same. This is for me. This is so I feel better. But, um, you know, the people that are voting the way that I want the vote to go are people that I'm aligned with. And those are the people that I want to stake with. Those are the people that I want to reward with my voice. So that's what I'm doing. Now let's talk meme coins because look at this. Uh, my meme coin portfolio, if you will, is now up to 2,151. Now, if you remember, guys, not that long ago, this was, you know, $1,000. So, 
It's about 2x from where we originally started talking. Now, a lot of it is Luna Classic. You can see the Luna Classic. What I haven't, uh, what I'm waiting for unstaked, it's about the same amount that I have right now. I'm not a huge holder, by the way, just to, to be clear here. Uh, but Cat with Hat is up to $152. What a big move that was. Food, $150. Juris back up to $116. Garuda X up to $104. The Boys is now up to uh, $98. So you're starting to see these big, big moves. Uh, Lunk Pepe uh, is up to $7. Cookie is up to $3. LNC, uh, 50 cents, uh, down a little bit there. Uh, Lenny Lunk, Hamster Meme, you know, got a little bit of each one of them. Now, I've claimed some Rocket, but I don't see it on my list yet. Uh, and that is because, by the way, uh, I'm ranked number 27 in playing uh, the game. And I ranked 48th last season. And I got Rocket Rewards of 32157 that I have claimed. And this time I'm going to get 54756 And by the way, if you're playing Rocket Defense, then after you get to, I think I want to say level 9 or level level 8, something like that, then it opens up where you can scour the, the, the game and you can find Rocket tokens that have dropped. And you can claim them and then they go into your wallet, right? Uh, but there's also 21 hours left on the new season. So it's about to reset again. Uh, I'm going to play one or two more times just to kind of see if I can increase my score right here uh, and see how it goes right now. Uh, again, I'm currently ranked number 27 uh, overall. I'm going to try to push my way up in this ranking. So if you haven't, again, I would recommend checking out uh, Rocket Defense. But uh, ultimately, and by the way, it's just going to be pennies. It's not, it's, not, it's not a lot. I'm not earning huge amounts of Rocket. It's, you know, it's a little bit, um, and it's just because I like playing the game. So um, 2151 right now for that. Uh, as far as uh, the upgrade to 3.3.0, it looks like it's going to be uh, um, uh, nailed right there. We have about five days left in it, maybe six days, and it's already at 99% approval, uh, almost hitting the pass threshold, which means that you know this will be implemented, and this is all the information. If you're a if you're a tech geek, then this is what you need to know. So you can go ahead and read that now. As far as price action goes, um, told you, we did exactly what I said. Now, we're doing it earlier than what I said. And what we're seeing right now is you're seeing a retracement here, just a little bit right now. Uh, but you're seeing a retracement, tiny bit, from uh, that, that move. And we went to right there. And why did we wick off of that? Well, zooming out, that's the 236, which I told you guys was going to be uh, the next level. And you can see it right there. Just really makes sense that that is one of those levels where uh, we're getting a lot of tests. But what does that mean that the next test is going to be? Well, zoom out just a little bit. There's going to be this prohibitive resistance right here. Now, this has been one two, three hits right there. So uh, I would think that we're going to run up here to about three zeros 20, three zeros 21, and then we could face a stiff rejection. The ultimate move for this would be, uh, however, uh, a move up into this range, a break back down onto the two, three, six, and then boom, that's when we get the break out there. We get a small correction right there. And then boom, we continue on and we get into this range leading to maybe this range right here. And then the breakout, um, uh, the, the real breakout. Now, the real breakout, when we talk about it, this area right here is where Javon Marx is talking. So, you know, we're kind of in that range right now. So maybe, just maybe, uh, we'll see. The good folks at Cryptonomy.Finance are handing me incredible rewards. Let me show you what I'm about to earn. I put in 25 Solana. I'm about to earn 24 Solana on December 26, the day after Christmas. Merry Christmas to me. Folks, it gets even better. On February 10 of 2025, I'm going to earn 0.17 Bitcoin, currently valued a little bit over $11,000. Folks, I gave them Tether. I gave them 1670 I'm going to get 1336 as my reward. All you have to do is sign up at cryptonomy.finance and listen. The important piece, the important piece is the launch pool. If you set up a staking contract with this launch pool, you're going to get rewarded based on a 9x from Shieldium, based on a 6x from World of Dippians, a 5x from Kima Network, a 5x from RWA. These are significant yields being earned 
on a daily basis by this team. My first contract completed a while back on November 21, and I earned a total income of 168000 481 of which my income off of this in a 50-50 split, $84,241. Folks, the bull run is here. All you have to do is now sit back, stake your crypto, and earn rewards. Don't forget, down in the description below are the links to the Telegram, the links to all of the socials, including Twitter, links to information and news websites sponsored by Cryptonomy.finance, and article sites for myself and several other influencers, so go check them out today. You know, we'll see that big move up into that all-time high. The important part here is uh, the path forward right now. Resistance, 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 resistance resistance and then boom here we are now when we zoom out that this is where it gets kind of important and interesting here when you zoom out right here other than this 26 area right there and you barely see it right there so little volume you can barely see it right there other than that right there and other than the selling because you're at the top there's no resistance there is a real distinct possibility when you're looking at this chart that what you see is the the this is going to move super hard and super fast once we get um that 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 sense that that feeling that we're in takeoff mode part of that comes from this right here and that's the discussions that leonardo has been having about the ceramic repeg um status update i'm working on a presentation making the plan easier to digest in ceramic beginning uh team recruitment to give you a basic idea of how the collateral basket would work look at bnb if it were part of the basket backing the new ust tc it would be generating a profit a profit fuels ecosystem rewards and allows for new mints so we'll see and by the way no new mints of lunk or ustc is that's not what it meant though uh, the bnb would be part of a mix of assets and by the way, uh, BNB, for those of you that are keeping track at home, BNB just hit an all-time high uh, just a few short hours ago. And it surged, by the way. It surged big time. So, um, uh, but, you know, and again, we're going to have Leonardo on the show to be talking about this a little bit. Uh, but just download the new Lunk Dash wallet. And by the way, for those of you that have not, today is your day to go check out Happy Caddy Crypto, the new Lunk Dash wallet from the Play Store, my very own Lunk wallet. This is a fantastic addition to the Lunk ecosystem. By the way, you can import your seed phrase into that, or at least I think you can. I will test it today and make sure, but uh, you should be able to import your seed phrase and it'll work natively. So um, uh, I think it's pretty safe to say that since it's Cosmos uh, and since it's, uh, you know, it's, it's since it works here, then your station wallet will be, uh, the, the seed phrase will work the same, um, you know what I mean? Uh, it'll work the same way. And by the way, this is how high we went up here, 17.9 just a little while ago. So uh, get excited because, you know, we're finally having that breakout that we've been waiting a long time for. So again, we'll have Leonardo on very soon. Uh, as far as holders go, uh, you know, we're still getting a lot being moved into Binance. And, you know, we've had a lot of unstaking, just like me. I've unstaked as well. Um, we have a lot of unstaking going on. And those people could be tempted to sell. And that could be why it's coming back over here. Remember, $250 billion were taken away, which caused a significant burn not that long ago. As far as USTC goes, still no answer here. Um, maybe we should talk to, to, to Happy Caddy Crypto and try to figure out why, if we have $290 million Terraform Labs, uh, in that wallet, then what is going on there? And was he wrong about that wallet? Or uh, are they just continuing to hodl for some unknown reason where they're going to burn a little bit later? Uh, and then uh, Luna Foundation Guard, whose job it was solely to protect the peg, failed in their attempt, but still for some reason, 1.8 billion is sitting there, even though it's been blacklisted. It is my opinion. I think Pretty sure that it was blacklisted, but um, I mean, what's going on with that? So would like to see some clarity on that. I, I guess we'll start some work on it and trying to figure it out. Now, 3 billion, 3.186 billion been burned over the last seven days. And hey guys, look at this. We had 1.8 billion burned. Then we had 100 million burned. Then we had another almost 100 million burned. And now we have another 77 million burned today. There's a significant amount of burn happening. I'm gonna show you why in just one second here. But uh, you can also see there was a big uptick right now 
in the amount of USTC. Remember over here, you know, we were in the 20s and the 23 and 35 and then 12. But then for the last bunch of days, we had 98,000. We had 141,076, 47. Yesterday, 63,000 so far today. So we're getting a little uptick in that. Now, let's look at the volume. And the volume, 289 million. And it is no longer BTCC that's over here leading the charge. There's 86 million being traded on Binance. You get 86 million a day being traded on Binance, they're going to burn two, three, four billion per month uh, for, uh, for 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 their monthly burn process, as opposed to what they've been doing. Remember, the volume over here has not been this high in a very, very, very long time. Okay, um, so this is uh, th this is a, this is a really good number right now. If we were to you know, market cap this and look at the volume in 24 hours. Um, you know, going back to today, it's 300 million, 300 million. But, you know, we go to one year, 18 million, 17 million. Remember, this is the numbers that we had just not that long ago. Um, we haven't had volume like this. Just keep going back here. We haven't had volume like that since uh, we had 100 million over here in April. Um, you know, it's not been a lot, not been a lot at all. Used to be a hundred million, used to be 140, 183, 300 million. What happened here? We got this huge, huge spike. And what's happening right now? Same thing's happening. We're getting a big, 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 big spike and it's continuing on. And that is a good sign for a continuation. Now, if we can keep that enthusiasm, then, uh, you know, looking over here at that market cap, remember that was a 1.3 billion market cap. Currently we're sitting at around, where are we? 900. So, you know, 50% more in market cap from where we are right now. Uh, if we were to add, you know, 50% to uh, the current position, then uh, where does 50% go? Look at that. Amazingly, right up to our next line of resistance, that uh, 0.382 line at 3026. So, it's all in the pipeline, ready to go. Uh, let me also point out USTC about to hit three cents. I told you guys, I'm not bullish on it. I don't think that it's going to have a huge breakout, but it is breaking out a little bit. Now, the, the big thing over here is going to be that zone right here at five and a half between 4.2 and 5.3 cents. I do think that it's going to break out into that range, and I would suspect that the resistance that we're going to feel is going to be right there. So it's still going to be about six cents which I think is going to be the cap, but there is a real possibility on this repeg that we are talking about a repeg to a dollar, right? Re a repeg to a dollar is a big deal, and that is about a 30x from where we are right now. So um, I think there's going to be continued interest. Now, Luna also breaking out right now to prices we haven't seen since March when we had the, the, the big uh, the big altcoin season pump. Now, th this is another altcoin. And we're just getting started, by the way, in, in altcoin season. It should continue on where we get a bunch of just a, a bunch of stuff starting to rip, right? Uh, I don't think that we're done yet. And by the way, we have to consider here, we are at least at best mid cap, not large cap at this point, right? So mid caps run after large caps. Large caps just barely cooled down. I mean, that's the last couple days for XRP. So now, uh, where do the mid caps start to play out? Well, here we are. So, you know, money will start flowing back down here a little bit more, at least in my opinion. And then the question is, do we have that breakout? Well, I think it's inevitable that we have the breakout. So um, get ready because, you know, I think something very, very big is getting ready to happen. Now, uh, let's close this off. Mr. Diamond Hands, we don't talk about him too much, but um, Lunk is on fire. Luna Classic added 357 million in 24 hour volume, now at 947 million market cap, ranked 119th in the world. It's not that far away before Lunk becomes a top 100 all over again. A little bit of excitement, and this thing is going to absolutely explode and pop. Now, if you haven't already, you need to be trading on, um, on Terraport, but I'm getting ahead of myself, right? Uh, Terra Casino, wild spin available for you right now. Also, $2 million, $2 million in euros being given away through December 22nd in Season 3 of the World Poker League. And then you, you know what cryptos you have over here. you got to sign up for Terra Casino. Sign up at the link in the description down below. It's easy enough to do. And look, if you just do a little bit, if you just do a little bit, that helps me out tremendously to provide you with this content. If you want me to continue providing the content, then this is where you go to help sign up. And then over here on 
terraport.finance if you are looking to trade meme coins like I am doing. I just showed you what I have right there. Uh, my staking is in here right now. I have 10,837 Terra. Uh, my rewards right now are 18.72. I'm still at 95.76 on this one. I think it's 60 days because I bought 10,000 Terra over 30 days ago so now i'm thinking it's going to be about 60 days is the average so uh i think i'm going to miss the selenium here i'm just going to have to buy it otc or otc buy it from the market when it launches instead of uh, instead of getting this pump here so um but whatever right so that's it guys that's your update thank you so much for tuning in look luna classic uh i've, I've got charts over here i've got charts over here so luna classic right now trading at 3016984 up four and a half percent on the day ustc trading at three cents right now up 4.5 cents on the day 4.5 percent on the day and then luna having a breakout up 11.32 and it looks like it's surging again right now so if you have your luna and you want to convert this might be a good time to convert it over um and if not if you're not if you're not worried about that if you just want to to hold on to your old luna bag yeah, whatever bro uh so all right guys um the the market's here uh the the pump has started so uh let's get rich or die trying it's not financial advice but i'm always right